Hey Metro readers, this week I decided to take a little break from my small business column to talk to my friends at CBC's Dragon's Den about what makes a small business work. Let's hear what their tips and tricks are for success. So I'm here with Kevin and Jim from Dragon's Den. Thank you guys for welcoming me. I'm so excited to meet you. So I'm going to get straight in. I'm going to ask one of you at a time. Um, what can we expect on this season of Dragon's Den? All new show. Completely new show. Uh, we've got a lot of new ideas that have come on and new businesses that are really bigger than they were last year. So they're a lot of fun. Uh, we're seeing some different deals now and, and people are coming prepared to the show, which is something we've seen over the years that it's built and built and built. So it's, it's getting a lot better. I know earlier you mentioned on camera, bigger and better. Please do explain. That's true. Well, one of the reasons is people have figured out that the platform of Dragon's Den is an amazing way to reach 5 million Canadians a week. There is there is no show. We're bigger than hockey these days, let's face it. So at the end of the day, if you want to advertise a good or a service, this is the place to come. So there's a massive competition of great ideas and products and businesses that want to get on Dragon's Den, and it's evident. The quality of the deals has never been better. Okay, so I want to focus a little bit on the entrepreneurs and the businesses who approach you. I know a lot of people are focused on the money. Is there something else that people before they start the audition should think about? Well, I think they've got to come prepared or you're going to run into Mr. Wonderful over here. And uh, I think because of that, they've seen that before. In the last six years they've seen the Dragon's Den and they've seen the build different. So they are coming a little bit better prepared and they understand what we're going to ask for. So they've answered some of those questions so I think they've, they're starting to see that you know don't come on here if you just got some idea and you have no sales and you don't have anything maybe work mm -hmm. so or are they gonna like I say they're gonna run into somebody that's gonna be a buzzsaw with them hey listen talk. I'm not trying to make friends I'm trying to make money on Dragon's Den so if you want to have a friend buy a dog and don't bother coming to the show this is about money and of course that's all that matters in business and that's what I say so you know clearly Telling the truth to these people is a good thing, and if they can't take it, I couldn't care less. And so I just want to get also some general business tips. What tip do you have for small businesses and entrepreneurs who are just starting to break out but unfortunately didn't make it on the Dragon's Den show? Well, I think what happens is you've got to have the passion to do the things you're doing. You've got to understand what you're doing, and you've got to make sure that the people out there want to buy your product. You know, you can test that before you come to the show or you can test it before you go into business. Make sure that the product you're making is, is something that people want to buy. Because you maybe think it's great and nobody else wants it. There it goes in the trash can. You know, the, the key here is just because you have passion doesn't mean anything. You've got to have a business plan. You've got to know your numbers. So many people haven't learned the lesson. You would think after all these years that people have been watching Dragon's Den, you would never want to come on that show without understanding your business, the market size, your margins, your break-even point. Of course you're going to get slaughtered if you don't know that. And you deserve to die. I'm okay with it. And is there a particular business model that you live by in your day-to-day -day life? I, I do everything the opposite of Kevin, and I make a lot of money that way. Um, the money always follows me. I don't know why. But my passion and the, my way I do business is the opposite of what Kevin looks at. See, Jim likes to sit around the campfire singing Kumbaya. I don't want to bother with that. That's a waste of time. I want to make money every day. A very, very simple philosophy, and everybody should listen to it on Dragon's Den. You want to go to bed richer than you woke up. It's that simple. And during the day, you have to do war. You have to take prisoners. You have to make money. That's how it works. It's that simple. Awesome. Well, thank you, gentlemen, so much. Thank you.